So right now, uh, if I play the game, it does uh, play the music on the welcome screen. As you test things out, you will see some things to, to deal with. For example, when you go to the help screen, I'll be at the help screen, and it'll keep playing the welcome music. That's fine. You can have the same music play at the help screen if you want. You can make it different by following the exact same steps that we had for welcome in terms of I need to create a help music variable connecting over to my help muse file and then I have help music play so basically everywhere that it says welcome music you change it to help so if you want a different sound effect or music for help you need to do that secondly when you get that help button working you're gonna have code that takes you back to the to the welcome screen that code is basically something like this where if I'm on the help screen I'm gonna have a button that says back back button and it's gonna go back to frame one scene welcome so that's the basic of it that you're gonna go back the problem will be then that when you're in the help screen and you go back to this welcome screen your music will stop that's because we wrote our code here set ourselves up etc etc code stop the music so when we're on some other screen and come back to this welcome screen it runs the code again and it sees stop so when you're over at the when you're over at the help screen and then you come back to to welcome that'll that'll stop so we're going to need to deal with that in a moment what happens when you go from screen to screen and that'll make more sense when we go to this next one of the first level of the game so let's go over to our gate scene the first level gate the first screen gate Okay, so this will be practice because this will be very similar to what we did on that first part. Eventually we'll cut and we'll copy and paste, but we'll write it manually first. So I'm in the code of the gate. I need to create variables. A variable that references this mp3 file, main music. A variable to keep track of when I play it, and a variable to keep track when I pause. And then an event listener about when I um, pause the game and when I start the game. So all of that sounds familiar. It sounds like exactly what I did with the previous scene. So we're going to do two votes. One is for the game, the main game. Do you want to do it the easy way or the hard way? Raise your, raise your hand if you want the hard way. One and a half. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Easy way or hard way? Probably you rewrite the whole code at the moderate level. Who would like the easy way? Copy okay. Copy and paste is the easy way. <laughs> the hard way is to write it all manually. Because what we need to do for the main game is write all of this stuff here. Music code start. All of this to the end, we need to write it again. Just changing a few things. The easy way is why not copy and paste it and change what needs to be changed. So we'll do the easy way. Go back to the welcome screen and where you have your note about the game music starts, I'm going to copy all of that to the very end because all of that code, in my case from line 26 to 53, all of that code makes the music work. So if I want different music in different scenes, I just need that code plus a little bit of changes. So back on your welcome find where you start your music code and select it all to the end copy that let's go over to the gate paste it we need to change a bunch of things but this might be a lot faster than writing it manually because again I need to create a variable for
for my music file, a variable for playing it, a variable for pausing it, I need to stop the music, I need to activate and deactivate, I need to do all that again. But maybe we can save a little bit of effort this way, and this will give you practice for when you need to change music on different places. Okay, so my first line here that needs to be different. Variable referring to the mp3 in the library. In the library, it's called main muse. So starting from the right over here, I'm no longer referencing welcome muse, it's main muse. And I'm no longer creating a variable of type welcome muse, I'm creating a variable of type main muse. And I'm no longer caring about welcome music, I'm dealing with main music. So let's change those three things right there. Main muse. Main muse. Main muse. So that code is starting to get changed for the main music. It is three things to change, and same thing for the next lines or so. But this will give you practice in reusing existing code. As you get more and more advanced in code, it's impressive that you can write code off the top of your head, but if there's no one else in the room, who's impressed? So instead, if you copy and paste code that exists and then save yourself effort, that's impressive. You do things faster. Next line. Well, let's play the welcome music. No, let's play the main music. This line comes from the one right above it. Let's invent a variable called main music. So let's play main music. Now over here, let's create a variable called welcome play mu welcome music play. Nope, main music play. So change that. We're in the main part of the game, so this is the main music, not the welcome music anymore. And next over here, let's keep track of when the when the welcome music pauses. No, keep track of when the main music pauses. Sound mixer stop all will be the same because that's what's going to stop the previous music from playing. The music that was back on the previous scene, it's going to stop. Then this new music will come into effect. Just to be safe, just to be safer, however, um, th there'll be one little change here. Um, hmm. Well, I think, okay, let's, let's do this, just in case. I'm going to add a note here. Maybe move to the top. After we test it, we'll confirm. It might work fine. I have it in my notes that it's at the top, but let's just see if we leave it here. Because the code runs from top to bottom. And I don't, write, I don't have the code about stopping the previous music until line 21. So it may play the previous music for like half a second. I'm not sure, but we'll see in a moment. So what I'm saying about maybe move it to the top, maybe put it at the very beginning as soon as the scene starts to definitely cut the previous music, or maybe it happens so fast that we won't even notice it, but we'll see. Native application, add event listener, event activate, that's all the same until here. Function welcome music play, it's not welcome music anymore. It's main music. Function main music play. So in that event listener, now we're going to pay attention to music regarding the main music. This is all still the same back here. Next line, it's cut off here, but obviously next line it's not the it's not FN welcome music anymore, it's FN main music. A couple of other things here as we get to it. The logic of it should be that anywhere that you see the old name, welcome music you change it to the new name, main music. So here, next line, now it's main music.
Then the next line, we're no longer caring about when the welcome music plays. We care about when the main music plays. And again, we're not caring about the welcome music plays. It's main music. Keeping track with the main music pause variable. You see where I'm going here, next line. It's no longer deactivates that. It's function main music pause. Before that, so right here it's main music play. And then over here it's not welcome music pause, it's main music pause. This next event listener listening for deactivation, it's function main music pause. And then here it's function main music pause. Yes, it is very easy to lose track of all of this. And we'll do it in five minutes, but if we were doing it manually, it might take us 15 minutes. But ultimately, you get to the same result that we need to change all of these names from the other music to this music, this main music. So now this matches that. Okay, logically, here we're not dealing with setting the variable of welcome pause, we're dealing with the main music pause, main music play position return the value of main music pause. So I'll do it a little fast here, but you'll see in all of those three places. So now that's main, that's main and main and main and main. Save it and run it. Now you've got new music that will play when you get into your scene one, the gate scene. You should also listen that it doesn't have the previous music playing. You, it'll be pretty obvious, hopefully. But play that and um, after you confirm that your, that your welcome music plays, then go to the gate. And you should confirm that you hear the gate main music playing. As you go through the game, it's going to have the same music in every screen. See what happens about going to the good ending or bad ending, just to further test it. But all of this was just copy and paste and change something. And we'll confirm if we need to move this line to the top in a moment. I'm going to save it and run it. No errors. up so I have a music I have sound playing on the welcome it goes to the gate and it's supposed to be supposed to play the gate music here but maybe not okay let me check that one moment all right so I did not play my gate music, that's okay, let me check what's going on here. So I think we do have to move that stop to the top, let me just confirm that. Yeah, I think it does have to be up there logically because we go to the new, we go to the new screen, this new code loads up, stop previous sound, then set ourselves up for the new sound. Yeah, I think that should be it. So let me just confirm it, but I think we're going to need to move that stop to the top. Just one moment. Okay, so it's playing. Yeah, there it is. 
So it cut out the previous sound, now it's playing the right sound, and now as I go through the game, stuff is happening, and I want that sound to keep playing, and it gets scarier and scarier as you go forward. Ooh, scary. So, um, when I die right here, I want new sound here, we'll do that in a moment. When I press play, it cuts off all the sound, which is normal, which we'll deal with that. But then when I play, it plays the sound there. And then when I kind of exit the game, it stops, come back, it comes back. Need one more thing. So it's getting there. So this is what we need to do. Um, right here on the gate. Let's move the line that I had noted right there. Maybe move to the top. Let's move that stop all. Let's cut it. Not a copy and paste, a cut. If you copy, there'll be two instances of that code, and that'll be wrong. We need only one. So I'm going to right-click, cut. Go to the very top, and there should be a spot, an empty spot before stop. Paste right there. So I'll change the note to say, stop any previous music. Okay, so moving it at the very top stops previous music from playing. Go ahead and save it and run it now and see if it works better that you play your music on welcome, but then when you go to gate, it should play the gate music but not the welcome music. All right, so if that works, we have a music playing in the welcome screen and music playing in the main part of the game. Uh, let's set up for music to happen when it's game over. We'll start with the bad ending. The uh, it, That's going to need code pretty much exactly the same that we have here in the gate. So from where I've got uh, music code start, I'm going to copy all of that, plus that line back at the beginning of stop all, but we'll come back to that. So we need to copy again all of this code, and we'll copy it into the bad ending. So in the bad ending, I'm going to paste it, but also so that we don't get that music overlapping, need to um, 
I need to add the uh, stop the sound. Sound mixer stop all. So sound mixer dot stop all. Stop the main music. So in the bad ending before all my previous code, I added sound mixer stop all. So that the music from the main part of the game ends. I pasted in all of the code that we were just looking at in the gate. All that music code, I copied it and pasted it into the bad ending. So I'm going to need to change a few things here. It's not main music anymore. It's um, let's see, what did we call it? Um, ending muse. So all of these things that say main music. Starting from right here, ending muse. So be careful here, this is all happening inside now the bad ending. Bad ending scene. So ending muse, ending muse, ending music, ending music play, ending music dot play, ending music pause, so forth. So everywhere that you're seeing main, Change that to ending. So there's several places to do it at, but copying and pasting should save some effort. So everywhere they've got main music, it becomes ending music, also in the two event listeners and functions. So at event listener, when the app activates, uh, ending music play, and then FN ending music play. Okay, so right here, uh, I put it a lowercase. I, I meant to put uppercase, which I will, but if this is the exact same spelling as this, it will work. If I miss if I miss typed, if I misspelled play somehow, P L Y Y, and I misspelled it here and here, it'll work. This is the name of programming. You know, that's, that's funny. As long as it's misspelled the same way, it's not a misspelling um, for something that you invent. So I have lowercase ending, which will work. But I've been doing uppercase right here, so I'll keep it that way, uppercase. Because when it's the second word, then you uppercase it to be able to read it. But when it's the first word over here, lowercase. And we have FN ending. Ending music pause. Music pause.
Okay, so you can test that. Oops, might have misspelled something here. Got an error. Sound. Oh, I wrote sound mixer instead of sound mixer. That's why I didn't turn blue. So you should hear the welcome music. When you go into the game, you hear the main music. When you go to the bad ending, we will get the, the bad ending music. Okay, so welcome music, main music. Okay, right hallway. I don't, not able to kill the boss fast enough. And the bad ending. There it is. So I quit, and it quits. Um, if that worked, that's a good uh, moment to stop the lecture at the at this moment to do some lab time. Uh, we covered a lot with sound. There's a little bit more to do. I mean, there's a little bit more that we could do. Um, but that's the main concept of sound. Um, oh, we need to do the sound about when we tap on things. So we will we will do that next time. So.